Amazingly, our mother fights them for us through her milk. The close contact between mother and baby means she absorbs the same germs that are attacking us. Her immune system creates antibodies. Then she delivers those antibodies back to us in her milk. Until our own immune systems develop, she will keep us safe. It's time to take on the world. There are many challenges ahead, yet we'll never change as much or as fast as we do in the first year of our lives. Next, learning to understand the world through our senses. It's been four weeks since birth. The baby has drunk nearly 30 pints of milk and has put on two pounds, a quarter of its body weight. It's time for its first trip outside. Even a visit to the grocery store can overload the senses. It's noisy bright and smelly. The nose is working overtime. High up inside, specialized nerves dangle in the airstream. They detect chemicals in the air and send an electrical signal to the brain which interprets the signals as smells. The nerves are super sensitive. Every smell is a new sensation. The same goes for our hearing. Strange new world strange new sounds. Sound waves vibrate the eardrum. On the other side of the eardrum, these tiny bones, the ossicles, vibrate in response. They're the smallest bones in the body, but without them, we would never hear a thing. They use leverage to amplify the vibrations, hitting the eardrum 22 times. The amplified vibrations now enter the inner ear, or cochlea. It's lined with delicate hairs. When vibrations pass through, the hairs vibrate. At the base are the fragile hairs for high frequency sounds. At the top, low frequency hairs. Each one 200 times thinner than a hair on our head. Over time, loud noises will damage these hairs. But at this age, they're perfect. Our hearing will never be this good again. The story is different for eyesight. We're born with very underdeveloped vision. Even at one month, the world is blurred and mostly black and white. Every aspect of our vision is rudimentary. The eye muscles are immature, keeping us from pointing our eyes where we want to. Inside the eye, 
the lens muscles still can't focus, and the lens flips the image it receives. All through life, we see the world upside down. The picture only gets reoriented in our brains. Right now, the picture is on the retina, the screen at the back of the eye. The retina has two types of cells, rods and cones, which transform the light that hits them into electric signals. The cones detect color information, but because they're not developed yet, we see mostly in black and white during our first month. From the retina, the signals travel along two thick nerves under the brain. At the back is where we process visual information. When the image arrives, the real challenge begins. Our immature brains haven't learned to interpret the data yet. That's changing fast. At two months, we can distinguish colors and shades. At four months, we can identify our mother's face. By eight months, we have 20-20 vision. Along with our perfect eyesight comes a growth spurt. We start packing on pounds. We add a quarter to our body weight every month. After three months, it slows down. Lucky for us, if we kept growing that fast, we'd weigh 150 tons by age four, the same as a blue whale. At eight months, all our senses work. We're beginning to explore the world, and the sense we use most is touch. Touch something too hot, and temperature sensors in the skin send nerve signals racing up the arm, up the spinal cord, and into the brain, all at 200 miles per hour. The brain detects the signal, interprets it as pain, and fires another signal back to the muscles. We move the hand away. We have sensory nerve receptors all over our skin but some areas are more sensitive than others. The hands, face, and mouth. There are 9,000 sensory receptors on the tongue alone, which is why babies use their mouths to explore. But there's another reason for all the gnawing. Something painful is happening inside the baby's mouth. Her first teeth are coming through. Milk teeth form deep in our gums while we're still in the womb. Now, one by one, they burst through. It's painful, but it's progress. At last, we can start to eat solid foods which help us grow the healthy bones we need for our next vital step, learning to walk. At eight months into life's 80-year journey, the senses are operating at full capacity. Every sensation is a new surprise. And with her new teeth, she can take on more solid foods. Digestion starts in the mouth. 
teeth grind up the food. Then, special glands under the tongue pump out saliva to help break down and lubricate the food on its 12-hour, 13-foot journey through the gut. It'll pass from the stomach into the coils of the small intestine before finally passing into the large intestine. Waves of contracting muscle keep the food moving, a process called peristalsis. These contractions are so powerful, we can even eat upside down.